This is Gary G with the Inland Valley News reporting from the 2017 Rose Bowl game between the USC Trojans and the Penn State Nittany Lions. Just the back and forth of the game. Uh, two great teams going at it. We had great seasons. Eight and nine game win streaks coming into this game. So the magnitude of it was, was huge. And I think it, it lived up to that. I mean, it was a high scoring game, but it was high level of play on both sides of the ball. So, I mean, just coming into games, like you get up to everybody that was involved. The fans were, were electric. And, and, and those two guys they have over there that made, that made their team happen. I mean, Saquon Barkley I mean, Trace was there, and Trace And also uh, Godwin, number 12. Uh, they had huge. Huge games. And That's me, bro. For us to really kind of bounce back uh, was, was huge. I mean, I think it was a testament to our season, a testament to the guys we have on this team to kind of get come down into the clutch and, and on those last two drives uh, make things happen. I mean, Coach Allen just told us, just give me one. Give me one. <laughs> and uh, I mean, each, each play of those series were just huge. And I mean, we used all of our timeouts in one of those series. And I mean, that, uh, each stop was dependent on, on that series. And for us to come up huge like that was just, just a Testament to what kind of guys we have on our team and just solidified our season. What did you think of Barkley? Was he the best player By far. I mean, he was a tremendous player. Uh, both those guys, that quarterback and running back combo, was just something that we hadn't seen all year. And then their, their receiver also had a huge game in the 12th, and the next got one. Uh, so those two guys right there were just, just insane. I mean, they looked up to all the hype that was coming into this game. I mean, they gave us problems all day. I mean, you don't just score for uh, for no reason. I'm coming in. I mean, we, usually, we usually have a great defense, so for them to put up 49 was just a testament to those guys. And for us to come back uh, and bounce back from something like that after seven straight scoring drives was, was a, a great part on our defense, too. You said validates our season. Do you feel like if you didn't win this game, it would have made it the last two months less impactful or meaningless? I don't know, because we didn't lose. <laughs> So I mean that we just validated. I mean, yeah. eight game win streak coming in. I mean that was a ninth right there. What does it mean for the seniors? You guys obviously have had quite a journey. Just a great way to go out for us. Um, everything that the 2012 and 2013 class has been through. And, um, who would ever thought we would end it in the Rose Bowl? I mean, just a great way for set the standard as a senior class. And a great way for us to go out and end our career here after all that's happened. Like, at what point in the game do you realize that this is one of those instant classic type of games? Uh, I think as soon as Juju scored a third. In the third quarter, I mean, we, we picked up some of that. And I mean, the momentum was swinging uh, each, I mean, each and every way in the second half. But as soon as I seen that, I knew that we were in it. And I mean, just the last drive for, for Deontay to come up and make that catch and say, I'm going to throw was huge. Um, I mean, and at that point, we knew it was everything that we worked for that came, came down to, to Matt Bowmarsh's kick. <laughs> As far as what he threw that interception, did you guys realize that you're going to have an opportunity to demonstrate your ability to yeah, win it I in think the just final? By the second? reaction of, of everybody, I knew we knew that. I don't think it was going overtime. We had enough time on the clock, and we were in a great field position just for Matt's leg to, to complete a field goal. I mean, he's never really out of distance. I mean, I, he kicks 50 yards all day, every day. So, I mean, just us knowing what it meant, where the field position was at, how much time we had on the clock, the reaction described it. We knew what was going on. And we knew that we would get a kick. What was your adrenaline? What was your adrenaline feeling like, knowing that we're down by two touchdowns and we're in the final stretch? Uh, I mean, we had so much time left on the clock. I mean, we're down by two touchdowns. I mean, there were six minutes left in the third. I mean, I looked at the clock and we almost had the whole fourth quarter. So I mean, there was plenty of time left uh, in the game, and I mean, that's why we never panic. I mean, there's always so much time left. Uh, but for the guys to just keep on playing, uh, and I mean, football goes up and down. For us to just finish off on a high note in the fourth quarter like that was great.